All right, welcome back. Weather's getting nicer. Myrtle Beach is happening soon. Got the trailer out there. Getting ready to get our Condor pit stop mounts mounted up in it. We got three, one for the Road Glide, one for the Street Bob, and one for the Sportster. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna move that one into the trailer, get it mounted up, get our E-Tracks all lined up, and then I think we're gonna start mounting stick around let's go road glide mount starting the install we got some how big are they five sixteenths by two and a half oh uh, yeah. yeah five sixteenths two and a half bolts are gonna drill right through the floor and then we got some big washers and some lock nuts and then we're just gonna pull the road glide in get some e-tracks down and then start on the other two let's rock that's strange i've got the center it's center but it's not Whatever, I'm just going to send it to the trailer. Yeah. So right now we got the uh, Assure Track. What's it? 7 by 14? Uh, 7 by 16. 7 by 16 foot trailer. Dual axle. And we're mounting the first one. Seems like these walls here aren't equal. From that wall to the edge of that condor. From this wall to that one. So we're just going to send it to this middle here. I think we're just gonna call it good. difficult to get the washer on just we just kind of like pinched it in there so I got both docking from hardware I guess for the condor bottom of the trailer for the first bike let's go <laughs> Now we're just gonna button everything up here, tighten everything down, bring the road glide in, see where we wanna put some e tracks, get those mounted. I think through the floor again with nuts and washers. We're only going like one or two foot on each side. Look on the back, we're not gonna do the full five or six foot strips of e track. And then, good to go. <laughs> Road glide in. Now, like I said before, we're just gonna measure up where we want some E tracks, cut it on our bench, get it all bolted down, move on to the next. Two. Getting the pit stop loaded up, or roughly guesstimated where we want it for the. Uh, probably safe and sorry, but we'll try it without first, or with a mind. Alright, yes. 
Stand's good. room for a pit bike on that side maybe one over here maybe just two over there condor pit stops the way to go got things to do got errands to run we'll, we'll be back got more hardware to pick up for the e-tracks but then we shall resume three hours later So originally, my intention was to go up here, which I got for the soft strap, for the uh, fairing mount. And originally I was going to put them up here with the E-Track, something like that. But then I realized the way that this mount slides in, it slides from back to forward. So if you put an E-Track here, you then screw yourself out of actually getting that back out. So I think the new plan is I'm going to go a little bit wider, so it's over here and out of the way of this actually sliding. You can always take this off. You don't need that while it's in here, but my intention for this is to not have to do that. So probably gonna do like six inch pieces or maybe a foot long. I haven't 100% figured that out. Just a little bit wider because you want to get it so it's pulling the bike into the wheel chuck, not against it. <laughs> not super ideal, but it'll do. <laughs> What we do here is go back, 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 back. Oh, she'll tag on her. Yeah. Got the proper bolts, nuts, lock washers, and actual washers. And we're gonna start throwing some e track down around first plate first, and then we'll get to the street bob and the sportster back there. Like you said earlier, I'm just gonna kind of put it in angles that way the mounting of the condor doesn't interfere with it when you have to lock it into place. So we're under here with the e-track system. Drill the holes right through the floor. We got a flat washer, lock washer, and then some nuts. It's just on the four corners of the e-track there. It's only an eight inch section. So that should fairly much hold, I think. How you doing, buddy? I fucking lost a lock washer. So that you could like wrap around just so those things don't flop up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Are we just strapping the front forks or you could have something set up for the back as well? I'm gonna do the back too. That's how we always did it before because you do hit some big bumps and they will. Oh, hit. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going 800 miles away. But well, we were talking too, and like his his ones that he's using for the back will be able to work for our fronts. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but. Because I mean, right here we're talking, there's not much room for a good strap. For how much pressure can this take? I don't know. They, a lot of people say to go up here to the frame or around the peg mount. So we'll see. We'll get a bike, one of the bikes in here now and get their front end and see how it looks with my back. 
can go from there. And you don't want to get it too close to the front of the condor, just like this one up here. Because yeah. it, it does slide backwards, you don't want that front crossbar to interfere with it. Yeah, if anything, then I'll figure it out once we're in here, but they might come up here. And then uh, this will just, we'll figure that out after. I could always just mount under the frame, like the exhaust rack or something. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're going to need the same 8 inch section there, but I think we're going to go maybe a little longer I'd say, probably, so we can get front of the street glide, back of the road glide, and maybe a small one over here, and clear out the back or something. So the angle on this one, um, I kind of want to put it, I think we're going to do a foot long strip right here, just behind the tire. So we'll tie down here, and then we'll also catch Gret's bike on to it also at the same time. Aggressive. Ooh. White claw down. A lot of in and out in this process. Yeah. Alright, so the plan for the back. We got an 8 inch section there, 8, eight, eight inch there, and an 8 inch on the other side. So that way we can do the rear. That one will be for both of the both of them. No, it'll just be individual. But we're doing good so far. We got the fronts done. And after we'll pull everything out again. Well, we will. And then uh Pull the road glide in, put them both in, and then we'll call it. Cold, bud? I've been warmer. <laughs> Everything's in. 
8 inch E-Tracks in the back, 3 of them, 3 1 foot sections in the front of these, back, back, 2 8 inch sections in front of the road glide, everything's tied down, good to go. We'll be on, we'll be, we'll, there'll be more, I'm sure, that we're going to do, not too sure what, but we'll be back, deuces.